Well, an anonymous letter is turning a Cumberland County school board race into a powder keg of controversial issues. The letter accuses Democratic candidates of having radical views on hot button topics. Hannah Brand is in our newsroom with more about the letter and how neighbors are reacting. Hannah. Alicia Valerie, I actually have one of those letters that went out to a Camp Hill neighbor. It names three Democratic school board candidates. It says supporting them would do serious harm to the district, and it asks the neighbors to reconsider who they're voting for. This letter isn't your typical campaign mailer. I don't agree with this, this uh, method of kind of trying to sway things. It was sent specifically to people who have yard signs supporting Karen Maya, Jocelyn Books, or Melanie Gurgiolo, all Democrats running for Camp Hill School Board. The first feeling that came to me was just anger, <laughs> you know, and frustration that, that this type of letter had gone to people's homes that were supporting me and my candidacy. It accuses the Democrats of supporting a quote radical agenda that includes critical race theory, allowing transgender students to play on girls sports teams and mandatory racial sensitivity training for teachers. The three or four points there are not true. In fact, all three candidates say the anonymous letter writer got it all wrong. I think so much of what is being expressed right now comes from a basis of fear. But Maya and Books say they do support adding more diversity to the district's curriculum. I think we've got fantastic teachers, and but I do think that we could teach more diverse and more comprehensive content. In a statement, Melanie Gurgiolo told me, my service over the past four years is my response to these concerns. I don't want to give this divisive mailing more attention than it's already received. Though it seems the anonymous letter may be uniting neighbors against its message. Before this, I might not have been so uh, interested, whereas now I feel like there, you know, there are forces kind of working against what I would like to see in our community. There is one thing in the letter that the candidates agree with. If you have questions about their platform, you should ask them. Live from the newsroom, Hannah Brand, ABC 27 News. Yeah.